What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pro Puppet tool from Pixel Film Studios for Final Cut Pro 10. Pixel Film Studios offers a free version or you can choose to get the full version that works in all resolutions. So what you need to do is go into your generator browser, select the Pro Puppet tool preset and click and drag this into your timeline. Either place it directly on top of your backdrop media or by itself. With Pro Puppet tool selected, open up the inspector window and select the generator inspector tab. Within the drop zone controls category, apply the media that you wish to morph into the drop zone. Next, adjust the media scale slider so that your media fills up most of the screen. Once we have done that, we will then need to click on the generate mesh button located within the puppet controls category to generate a mesh around our media. Adjust the mesh density slider. The higher the value, the denser our mesh will be. Next, adjust the mesh expansion slider to expand the mesh outside our subject. Located within the mesh controls category, we will begin by adjusting the mesh scale slider. This allows us to scale our subject along with our mesh. This will also give us the ability to animate the overall scale if we'd like to later. We also have the ability to select a custom mesh color. And now the fun part. To add a pin, hold down the shift key and left click. You can turn off and on the mesh display to better see where you're applying your pins. To remove a pin, hold down the option key and click on the pin that you wish to remove. Rotate a group of pins by selecting the pins you wish to rotate, clicking once on the pin that you wish to designate as the rotation origin, and then click and drag the on-screen control to rotate the entire group of points. This gives us the ability to animate individual joints in a person, such as this basketball player. Now, if you want to rotate this leg underneath the other one, notice how they are clipping into each other. This is an easy fix. We can select specific vertices to be on top or below others with the brush tool. Let's turn the mesh display back on. Adjust the brush radius and then by holding down the option key, we will now see the brush controls. By left clicking and holding down the option key, we can now highlight the vertices that we want to be on top. We'll make his right leg on top so that his left leg can go underneath. Turn off the mesh display. Now as we rotate these group of pins, his left leg will be below his right. To animate, we'll right click on the Pro Puppet Tool Generator, click on Show Video Animation, and then set a keyframe under the Puppet Controls category at the end and beginning. At the beginning of our timeline, we'll make a few adjustments to our pins. We can always move each keyframe within the timeline to get an even more custom animation. We'll set one in the middle here to make his arm move in the beginning at a faster rate. And then move, then rotate him as a whole in the first frame. Now he's really flying. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.